Hey everybody, how are you? Okay, this design it's going to be probably a, a Halloween design, but it's specifically um, a character and it's going to be Harley Quinn. Woo! Yes, <laughs> let's do that. Let's do that. And the thing is, I don't have a picture and I remember I made a design and I, my plan was to do it for a tutorial, but then the time, you know, like went so fast and I had to go to an event. So I just made the design but I couldn't make the tutorial. So the design is there, you see it in the pictures. And I use um, all these pictures that I found on Google to kind of have ideas because the trick always, for me at least, it's been working really well. It's, um, you know, for designs in specific characters, you know, you, it's better to have a picture, you know, so you, because there are things that you probably remember. Oh, you know, I used to watch uh, cartoons when I was a kid and I, I remember how they look like, but you cannot, um, you know, you know, remember all the details. So sometimes it's good to go and Google the P and you see lots of different pictures and there's different probably colors or details that change or can vary, you know, between pictures, but you can have in general, you know, some characteristic that repeats or you can think it's very important to make it out of balloons. So then people can recognize that it's a, you know, Harley Quinn or it's a Bugs Bunny or any cartoon character, you know, um, so that's kind of the idea. So I made it, you know, like it was probably two weeks ago. And um, so it's kind of fresh. And I saw the picture before I start the tutorial. And I, right now I don't have any picture. And so uh, you will see the picture all the time there. And of the design that we're going to do right now. So that's the magic of, you know, editing and have these videos. <laughs> because then you will see, yeah, for sure you will add looking right now. And so that's what we're going to do. But it all came from this original, the first... Harley Quinn I made is this one and I made a long time ago the Harley Quinn uh, I'm talking like five years ago you know that the one that is the black and red you know and half you know black black half red but I'm thinking you know now that is the new movies of Harley Quinn she uses more the blue and red you know and some white and a little bit of black so I'm gonna do that design Let's start. So I'm thinking right now I have these balloons, but you will see the list of balloons at the beginning of the video. So, you know, right now I'm experimenting so you can learn from my mistakes too. <laughs> Let's start. A balloon 260, inflated, white, right? Inflated, nine finger tail, eight. And we're gonna start with the boots. So for the boots, this is a very cool technique. You can use it for many different uh, characters, superheroes, you know? So I'm gonna start making a pinch twist and another pinch twist so you have these two pinch twists and they may have boots but the thing is I'm not gonna make this design super big and you can do it if you just go and make the sizes you know of the bubbles longer or use 350 or 650 balloons that are thicker so these ones are gonna be 260 so I don't want to make something too big and because also I don't want to use many of the balloons you know so I want to see if I can do it with this so it's gonna be kind of a fast version okay so them is here like two or three finger bubble and then a loop of two or three finger bubble and that's gonna be one shoe very simple easy basic now you're gonna make a two finger bubble and you're gonna pinch twist then when you have that you're gonna just make here a one finger bubble or two and then this one you're gonna make a pinch twist so we're kind of repeating what we did in the other with the other boot we're gonna make now a loop so we have the pinch twist, we're gonna make a loop of two or three finger uh, bubble. And when you have that, you're going to go up. So you have shoes, the boots, and then here you measure two finger bubble, two finger bubble the other side, and then you're gonna make two pinch twists. And the boots are ready. So that's what you're gonna use the white to 60, and then you're gonna make here one finger bubble. These are very small. And I just like it because it's going to help the design to look straight, you know, and I think it's, it's a good thing. Now, this you cut it so you can save this because it's going to be uh, one part that we're going to use it. So I'm saving it because I remember in the chest is going to be this one. Um, so save that part and I'm just locking things, just passing around time, securing the boots. Now we have the boots. Okay, now what else is coming? A skin color, right? So for the skin color, we're gonna have to grab a blush balloon. I forgot the blush, the skin color. And we're gonna use this 260 blush to make legs and to make also arms. So you're gonna inflate it 
eight finger tail or nine and you can start accommodating it here one of the pinch twist like lot. then from here you have to measure how tall because she's like supposed to be wearing very short short shorts <laughs> so it's gonna be like let's try here six finger bubble and then here it's gonna be um connected to um to the shorts and now we can stop here and let's go with the shorts what do you think because this is going to be connected in the shorts and then we're going to go from behind hiding this color for with a little you know squishing fold so and then um it's going to be the other side down so now we're going to stop here for a moment and let's start making the shorts so for the shorts what i did is going to be the two balloons look so we're going to go up making this so let's start with well one bubble up down up good so we're going to go on with this it's a 260 balloon blue inflated this one is 10 finger tail and this one is going to be also 10 finger tail with the red okay both the same tail yes so you're going to have to do kind of repeat what you do with the red you're going to do it with the blue so stay down. now you're going to make pinch twist and i don't remember if i make pinch twist but yeah let's do this pinch twist you're going to make sure the shorts are small so let's see if we can make it this time this time for real is small so it's going to be no more than three finger bubble okay and if i remember from here i'm gonna go and make another uh go down with another three finger bubble go into the pinch twist and then i'm gonna measure here three finger bubble and then go up so this is more like a flower or a tulip so when i go up with a third three finger bubble we're gonna open these two three finger bubble and we're, uh, we're gonna roll the one from here in the back so we're gonna push and roll and you have this and that's it now that is gonna be um one leg one short so it's gonna be in one of the legs in a moment <laughs> now you're gonna do the same here but this is the thing now you're gonna start from this part why because we need one bubble in between to make them look connected and i like it that way so you're gonna make one finger bubble doesn't have to be a big bubble just a one finger bubble and then you're gonna do the same pinch twist another pinch twist and then you're gonna go up with a three finger bubble and then go down with a three finger bubble and then you're gonna pass the third three finger bubble through this in between these two so three finger bubble and then you roll it so when you have these two you're gonna now put it together so those are the shorts you twist it together now this is another tricky part that we're gonna do here we're gonna just measure the rest of the body so um in the other side i didn't do it this way because it took me a little bit longer but if you want to go faster you just grab these two together and this is the thing play with this if the the red is here that means we're gonna change and it's gonna be blue what is coming you see red blue red red blue so that's we're gonna play with that so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna measure here what we want the body to be so it's gonna be like four finger bubble these two bubbles i'm gonna twist it together and we're gonna make pinch twist and we're gonna make another pinch twist so there we go now we have to um keep playing the shorts are the most visual part so you if this is blue we keep the blue let me see we're gonna do this so we have shorts are red the t-shirt is gonna be blue so we have this so we're going to measure here um, the, the, the leaves. Is the t-shirt is going to be like this long. So we're going to just measure here like three finger bubble. If you're afraid this is coming and down, you know, you can always use your chest, your hand, your elbow, anything to hold it. <laughs> so then it doesn't get a twist, okay? And so I'm going to do this and then I'm going to measure here. You know, um, I'm going to bend it a little bit and I'm going to measure here like four finger bubble. Um, okay and or even less three finger bubble and then i'm gonna make two pinch twists okay 
and um, you're gonna have to do the same with the other body with the other side I mean okay so now you grab this part you grab the other side I bend it a little bit just to give it some shape there make three finger bubble and then I make two pinch twists okay thank you um, it was uh, one of my uh, subscribers thank you so much for suggesting this design because i made it because that's what is easy right now to make it into a tutorial and uh, so now you have this you can you can cut this in a moment but uh yeah you're not gonna need this anymore so from here remember this part the white the scrap from the boots that's what we're gonna connect right here in the middle so now let's do that and this is what I think it's let me see what it works for you I'm gonna just make a bubble here measure the body so this is probably gonna be four or five finger bubble the white and I twist them and the thing is um you can cut this you know because we're trying to save balloons we're trying to make this with just the fewer balloons possible yeah so things um when you have that now probably at, by this point you can grab a 160 balloon and i always like to go and make two pinch twists and this one look you inflate probably like 12 finger like that you inflate and you make two pinch twists oh yes let's do this again <laughs> you make two bubbles twist it together and make a double pinch twist and you can also just only make one pinch twist or any pinch twist and just what you need to do is find here this goes in the back right in the back and then you just go around yep and you twist it and attach it to the two pinch twist there and now what we're gonna do is we cut we take the air out but not all this is the thing is some air there and you're gonna tie them because that little thing that it's gonna be the detail also for the boots so you save this in a moment we're gonna use i'm gonna just make sure this is tight and locked and okay so we have this in the front make sure what i while you are twisting you don't get confused and pass this red into the other side but this is how it's looking so far now legs it's gonna be right there so we measure here six finger bubble and we're gonna uh, start connecting things together so we're gonna to um attach it into any of these uh you decide which one you want to start i'm gonna start with the blues attaching to the two blue pinch twists and then i'm gonna show you this is the back okay and in the back we're gonna make just a little very squishable bubble and it's gonna be hiding behind the blue one finger bubble that is in front okay so people don't have to see that's not something people don't have to see and you are now twisting and you're already in the other leg and now you're gonna mesh finger bubble and that's connected to your boots la -da -la -la -da -la -la. Okay, I'm like this, and now I'm gonna cut this, but don't get rid of the air, none, because we're gonna make arms in a moment, so leave it up. So far we are using how many balloons? Hmm, for the body, already, like, red, blue, black, four balloons, five? Yeah, that's what happens, when you do a specific characters, you use lots of balloons. So you have this, look how cool, like, people can already see, oh, this is going to be Harley Quinn, right? Yeah. <laughs> now let's see this is you know the the shorts the body now we have to go with a second part i think for the head because that's another cool part but if you want you know but when you learn the head then maybe you just make it into a bracelet with just blue and red and that can be on top of the head or a black bracelet with some white and then on top of the head and that's going to be a fast version of something fast too make of harley quinn if you don't want to you know do all this now you have the body yeah yeah but we're gonna now cut this and this is the thing you have this extra you can um just in case look save them or uh keep it in one moment because maybe you can use it for um 
dug the hair, you know, for Harley Quinn in the second video. That is gonna be Harley Quinn part two, the hair. <laughs> now you save it, I'm just using it, you see, on the table, but it's there. And now I'm gonna keep going and just trying and locking. Okay, when you now, what? Um, here it's another optional thing and this is the thing you can make it this design with wearing you know like have some boobs pew, with a 160 I just went one pinch twist another pinch twist and just poof, leave it there it's optional but like just like this it's looking cute now you're gonna make with the rest of the leftover or the 260 blush we're gonna make a finger bubble and a very small like maybe less than two finger loop and you're gonna have with that one hand yep that's it now you have to measure here like three finger bubble and you are gonna connect it right here to the arm one arm so now you have the arm there and one of the pinches you cut this and you have this don't get rid of this because you're gonna need it to make the other arm and the thing is to make things and characters look more like the character you want to um, do you have to also see she's usually have a weapon in the last the original uh, Harley Quinn she had a hammer right but this one has more like a baseball bat so you will see this technique that it's not my creation because I've seen it in uh, very famous balloon twisters in United States that they do this trick that I'm going to show you because um, I think it's a good way to make designs um, with your balloons, especially if you don't have a 160 and you only have 260s, you can make your 260s look like 160s. You will see that in a moment. I'm making the same thing I did for the other arm, one finger bubble. I loop that is no more than two finger loop. And then you measure three, three finger bubble and then you cut tight and attach it to the other arm the two pinch twists and that's all look how cool is this so now the thing to have the two pinch twists there you can play with that but um for example if um if you want to keep it like this it's gonna have the arms open which is not bad because she can look like in a crazy position why not <laughs> or you can push this down and open these bubbles and squish the bubble down and that's gonna kind of help you to make the arm look down and you see but I'm gonna leave it like this and now this is the thing that I want to show you so you don't need a whole balloon but for example if she's gonna be uh, wearing a baseball bag I'm gonna try and see how it looks with this do you have a legenda if it's not or any electric pump that you can inflate 160s if it's not maybe with your mouth that's another trick but it's gonna be a little bit harder because push this when I just but you will see you have to first Attach, I'm gonna take this out. Attach your legenda or you know your inflator. And when you inflate, you have to pull. So make sure you're gonna pull this part and you're gonna push air into that balloon while you are stretching it. So I'm gonna take the risk and see if I can do it with any regular pump. So if I can do it, that means you can do it. So I'm gonna go all the way there, I'm gonna go up, and while I'm gonna be the, doing the first push, especially, I'm gonna stretch the balloon. So let me see if I can do this. Oh, like this. Uh, shoo shoo, legenda. Let me do this. I go all the way up, I stretch, I'm stretching, and then I'm gonna push. Hmm. Hmm. Look, no, it's not that easy, um, I think, with this. But if you can do it, good job. Good job, good for you. But I don't think I can do it. So I'm gonna just grab a balloon scrap, and I think with this is gonna be easier. Maybe don't pull it too much, just pull it soft. And this is what I do. It's a balloon scrap, a finger, and now I'm gonna pull, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna push air, and look this way, and then I leave it without pushing the air. This shape, the good thing is this, it's a 260 balloon, but it looks like a 160, and this is what is the regular size of the 260. Now from here you have, look, the idea of a baseball bat, and that's what was my first intention. So from here I'm gonna just measure maybe this part, look. I'm gonna tie it and I'm gonna cut it. Here's my cutter. So if you don't have a, 
Oh my goodness. So just make sure this doesn't go too bad. Maybe the baseball bat, what do you think? This shape. If it's not, you just grab a 260 and whatever she's gonna be holding is gonna look like a baseball bat. So from here, I'm just gonna go and make a little bubble at the beginning, you know, and I'm gonna attach it to the arm. So she's gonna have the baseball bat. And then she's gonna have some left there and that's kind of the idea just this thing that it makes here it's make your design look awesome right well i'm gonna try one more time because i'm thinking what why is not possible well we're gonna try we have a scrap a finger tail approximately and we're gonna use it again try this again up and maybe this time i'm not gonna pull so much just like a slightly pulling and then i'm gonna push and then hmm look it bends a little bit you maybe it's all about practice hmm okay it's maybe all about practice you can stretch this and make it skinnier maybe what do you think but if it, it is possible i think i can see it here a baseball bat it's all about imagination too <laughs> i can see a baseball bat okay and it's possible with a manual pump if you can do it let me know show me um you always can share things with me and mix text message on my uh, Instagram, so Alpaca Global in my Instagram. Okay, but look, it works. It works with a 260. Come on, you can see the baseball bat, right? <laughs> okay, so one other details here. I had to see, but it says something like, um, Daddy's little, little what? I forgot. Daddy's little nightmare. So you can just. Um, I'm gonna show you the other thing. Is when I say, well, if you want 160, I'm gonna show you. If you have a 160 balloon scraps, always save them. I save my balloon scraps. I hope you do that same thing too. So I'm gonna just make it like, look, what about if I make it here like a pinch twist and then here another pinch twist and just kind of, and those are gonna be boobies for Harley Quinn. And it's optional, but in case, you know, uh, just doing this, you can connect it right here and just pass it around you know and you kind of have something representing <laughs> boobies <laughs> it's optional okay it's but i'm gonna leave it there so then you can write there here daddy's and then trouble i don't remember what it said daddy's trouble daddy something i'm gonna check it out in a moment <laughs> let me okay okay i had to check it on myself on the picture but it says daddy's little little monster so you just grab it and it's kind of like cursive letters so here i'm gonna write little daddy's little, little yeah daddy's little monster yeah so it's little so let me see if, let's see i just go with that daddy's and then here little and then monster oh, and the thing is look thing doesn't have to be perfect but it's something right in there and if you just use sharpen right that it's gonna look great and then the other thing is here you can say something that says good night but it comes like this so i'm just gonna do that i'm gonna say good and then night very simple fast and we have the baseball bat we have now need the head but this is main the basic for the harley quinn that i did in the, the body one thing i don't want to forget because i always forget things but i don't want to remember that it's balloon scrap we have the 160 that we left over but we leave some air here so with that that it came from the the belt you're just gonna grab the shoes this part and just go and around and you can tie it in the bottom that's what I'm doing right now. Or you can um, hiding on the pinch twist. But I think I'm gonna just tie there. Don't make pressure, just tie there. And miracles. <laughs> or you can tie it from here. Let's do this way. I'm gonna tie it right now. <laughs> like here. And then when you tie it, you can open it and pass it around. And that's what you're gonna get. And this is just a little detail. It's nothing probably, but Come on, little details sometimes help your design to look better. I hope you like it. Tell me in the comments what do you think. Now, it's time to make the head. See you in the next tutorial. It's coming next to this one. Bye.
hey one more thing if you like this video if you are enjoying all of my videos here and this awesome youtube channel about balloon twisting tutorials don't forget you can always donate because all you give money it's very well appreciated for this channel to be better you know so you go um go donate to my uh paypal account alpacaglobal at gmail.com and i will appreciate it for sure <laughs> thank you bye